This video is just a demo how you can collect some user input. Um, so I've got my program set up here as a little shell. And if I'm going to, um, let's say, ask the user for a number, then I've got to have it declared uh, ahead of time. So let's say I'm going to ask them for uh, how old they are. Let's make an integer called age. And I like to initialize my primitive, so I'm going to set that equal to zero. Um, and then to read in from the keyboard the age that the person is going to specify more for me, I use instead of C out, I'm getting input this time, so I use C in. And my operators are flipped in the other direction. They're called extraction operators. Again, remember these guys point in the direction the information is flowing. So I want it to flow from the keyboard, which is what C in represents, into my age variable. So that will save whatever they type inside of age. Now if I want to just check that, I can output it to see the result of what they gave me. Now there's something to consider here. So I've got this set up so it creates this variable, grabs their input, and then prints a confirmation message. When I run my program, um, here's a common mistake that, that new programmers make, and that's that they forget to write a prompt or a question to ask the user to actually type something. And then when they run, the console just sits there, it blinks at you like it's waiting for something. Um, but because you didn't ask the user a question, they don't know what the heck you're waiting for. So I can type my age and hit enter and it tells me the confirmation message. But I only need to do that because I was the programmer and it's not very often that the programmer is programming for themselves. So um, whenever you're going to grab something from the user, you should also prompt them. So how old are you? And now it will let them know what it's waiting for. So how old are you? I can type my answer and then I get my confirmation message. So when you're prompting for information, you need to uh, have a question there so they know what the heck you want. Okay, um, I can reuse this too. I don't have to create a new variable to be able to read into it. So how about the next person in line? Like let's say there's more than one person gonna answer here. I can just go straight into the same variable and it will overwrite whatever was in there originally. So I can do this twice in a row, essentially. How old are you? 34. Let's say the next person in line is 20. So I could use that same variable two times without having to create a second one, because they're both just sort of little temporary things. I don't need to keep them around um, when I'm done. So that is how you read in a, a value um, from the keyboard.